Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, The Tell Me I Talk. Hope you're all doing well, having a good week and all that. Uh, today, I pretty much just filmed this really simple, glam, neutral look. You know I love my neutrals, I can't even deny it. But I kind of just wanted a look that you can pair with, like, any lip. Like, literally any anything can go with this because it's all kind of, like, natural, neutral colours to a woman of colour. So I didn't go with any, like, reds or uh, purples on the eye or anything. Really, just, like, browns, a warm-toned brown, a cool-toned brown, and a nice kind of shimmer on the lid. And I did this nude lip. Um, I'm sorry that I'm just like, ugh, I don't know if you can hear it as I'm talking, but I'm so bunged up. I'm just hoping that I don't get a cold because I'll be so irritated. Everybody in my house has been ill and I was like, I'm not getting ill. No matter what I do, I'm not getting ill. So <laughs> hopefully I don't get ill. But sidetrack. Um... So right about now, I thought I'd pause the video. Well, pause my intro and just explain that um, I lost some footage of the end part of my look, but I decided to re-record it for you guys, just the end bit. So if I suddenly change in the middle of my video, that is why. But I still hope that you enjoy this look. But yeah, if you want to see how I did this glowy skin, glowy eyes, I guess, and new lip, keep watching. See you in my next video. Oh, 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 pause, pause. I nearly, I nearly forgot. Girl, you want to like, comment and subscribe down below. Okay, see you guys, bye. Kicking things off with priming and illuminating, I really press this into my skin with my hands and work it in like it was a lotion or a cream because prepping skin is key to your makeup and so is prepping lips. I'm using my Jack Black Lip Balm, which you can get on Amazon and it's the only thing that moisturizes my lips. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match and it's a new formulation that's come out in um, drug stores or stores, whatever you want to call them. And it has like a little bit of like a, a loom, a luminous, girl, you know what I'm saying. It has some luminosity in it. <laughs> and I used a flat top brush and buffed that in. And then I went in with my beauty blender and again, pressed that into my skin so that I don't get that kind of cakey look. I'm cream contouring with my black opal foundation stick and I should be using a brush in terms of hygiene purposes but I was feeling lazy so I pretty much just dabbed that up all over my skin I went um, under my cheekbones along the perimeter of my forehead sorry I don't know I'm stuttering on my words I went under my lip to make my lip look fuller in my cupid's bow because I have a natural dip there and I am contouring my nose I'm not bringing the bridge in too much further um I just like to highlight the way my nose naturally is I don't want to look like I have a slightly different nose. <laughs> and I'm blending that out with my beauty blender. I'm really ensuring that is blended. I had to speed this up because I literally spend forever blending and blending and blending and blending and blending and blending and blending. I'm color correcting under my eyes because your girl ain't been getting much sleep. And then I just use a damp beauty blender to push that in to my lines because you know I got some lines underneath there. What can I do? I'm using two different concealers to highlight because um, one has a slightly pink undertone and one has a yellow and I feel like they just they just work together in my head. I don't know if I'm being weird, but yeah. I have to spray this um, LA Girl concealer because I find it a bit drying. Well, it's not drying, but it dries quickly. So I like to spray that. And here is my key, key, key. I learned this from Makeup Doll. And what she does is she blends out her highlight and then she goes in with her foundation brush just around the edges to mesh together the contour and the highlight. And it works so well. Like I've been getting a lot of comments on my um, Instagram pictures that like, oh, your makeup looks really like flawless and blended. And honest to God, it's like one, one of the, like this step is one of the reasons why it looks so good. It really just, makes everything look seamless and almost like it's my skin. I love doing it. As I said before, I like to set my under eye with a brush first, just to um, make sure that I don't get any creases in my under eye concealer. And then I go in with a sponge and lock that all in. I don't really bake, 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 like like heavy bake. I just apply a little bit, a little bit of excess powder, just a tiny bit. It's not 
too excessive for me anyway because I have slightly dry skin under those areas and then I set wherever there is cream or liquid on my face with my face powder and I hit them smile lines with a little bit of powder because as I get older them, them, them lines are getting deeper um, I'm blending out my primer which is just an elf primer you can get most of these things on eBay and then I set that with the same concoction of powder I used before I love this NYX pencil like I've never tried the um, ABH brow pencil but I feel like this is a good dupe it's really really slim and lots of people have said it's quite a good dupe and I pretty much just outline my brow shape that I want and then I kind of blend this together with my brow hairs with a brush and then I go in with my dip brow or I use brow powder, whatever I'm feeling that day. And I pretty much bring depth and dimension to the brow because there's not that much hair. So I need something a bit darker. So if you know me, you know that I love and I live for a simple eyeshadow look. And this one is, when I say simple, I mean simple. I'm just going in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek, which you can get online at Beauty Bay in the UK. Um, and I put that in my crease. And I bought it and I kind of connected it with my nose contour so it all meshed together and really highlighted my socket. I then used a darker brown my Makeup Geek. I think it's Mocha. If not, I'll have it down below. And I went in with my outer V and slightly into my crease. I'd say a third into my crease. I went back in with Cocoa Bear to blend that out and make sure that it's the, the darker shade is blended with Cocoa Bear, which is technically my transition shade. So it's all about blending and getting those shades to mesh together. I just wanted to define my crease on the outside a little bit, so I went with a slightly smaller brush with the same darker brown. And again, taking Cocoa Bear and blending it out. So it's all about adding color and then blending, adding color and blending. Don't just throw it all in at once. I went in with a really simple lid color. It's All That Glitters by MAC, and I've had this for ages and I used to love it and I just, it kind of fell off my radar. I used a flat brush and packed that all over my lid and then I blended out with Coco Pet again. I just went in again with all that glitters just to ensure that I hadn't lost any definition on my lid but it was still blended at the same time. I went in with Miss Manga Mascara which I really like at the moment and I used these lashes for the first time which you can't see here because this is the bit I refilmed but they were stunning. They're called Spacey Stacy by Lovable Lashes and used them. I used the same eye two eyeshadows um, not all that glitters, just Cocoa Bear and Mocha under my eye. And then I went in with a nude pencil from Rimmel. You gotta take off all that powder, like gently take it off, but it, need, it needs to be gone. I hit my lower lashes with some mascara as well. And I need to contour my chub chub. So I just hit under them cheekbones, girl, and my forehead and under my chin. Um, anywhere that I cream contoured I need to set again with powder so I went under my lip and the bridge of my nose like I, you've seen I bronzed up my cheek and my forehead a little bit so I can look like I just went to the Bahamas or something and then I cleaned that up with my face powder I don't like to bake under there because I do have slightly dry skin I just clean up with my face powder I'm using a nice neutral orangey brown blush by sleek which I think just just adds to the neutral look just a little I don't know I like it I like it anyway I am using a cream highlight, Benefits What's Up. And I think this has made a huge difference to my highlight routine. Like, you'll see in a second, because when I put powder on top, this thing just bablings, like bablings, like I've got a diamond ring on my face. So this is the um, Anastasia, not Anastasia, I'm British. This is the Anastasia highlight. And um, everywhere that I just cream highlighted, I put this back over and I think it just looks stunning. I went a little bit heavy, I can't lie. So I did have to blend, blend it out, but it still does look stunning. Like it really catches the light really well. And I went under my brow bone as well because I'm starting to like that kind of look. Like when it catch, when the light catches under your brow bone, you get that little pow. I kind of like that. <laughs> and then I went in my tear duct with the same highlighter using a brown, well, a dark brown lip liner because I like that kind of ombre -y effect when you do nude lips. I, just a little bit, not too ombre. -y. And I'm using this um, Colourpop lippy sticks, which I got new, and it's called Grunge, and it is the perfect nude for a woman of colour. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It's quite similar to, I think, Double Shot by MAC, potentially. And then um, I put MAC Spike Gloss on top. I, I had to set these brow hairs because they have a mind of their own. And then, to be honest, I'm done. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!